Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Senior Bowl. Joe Emer here at Ladd Stadium. Day four, the final full day of practices tomorrow. Just a walkthrough on this field for the North and South teams. One of the players looking to make an impression this week is UAB quarterback Joe Webb. But he's not playing quarterback here at the Senior Bowl. Webb, a versatile athlete, passed for more than 2,000 yards, rushed for over 1,000 this season. But here at the Senior Bowl, he's playing wide receiver, and he's doing a pretty good job. Just come out here and show them what I could do. You know, they saw what I could do a little bit at quarterback, so I just want to know what I could do at receiver. I'm just trying to come out here and prove a point. They've been going pretty good. You know, I think I get a little more comfortable. The more routes I get, you know, the more rep, reps I get, so it'll be okay. That catch you saw in the corner of the end zone by Webb, perhaps one of the best catches all week here on this turf. Well, when you talk about this field, perhaps no one is more familiar than Mobile's Antonio Coleman. For more on him, let's go to Rob Lee Hockey. Rob? That's right, Joe. Antonio Coleman grew up in Mobile, played football for the first time when he was four years old in the Boys and Girls Club, played his high school ball literally across the street from Ladd People Stadium. He used to walk over here to his games, and now he's back. Living out a dream. Came to every senior bowl game, you know, and it was a dream to, to get to this, to get to this field, you know, after college and play on this field. Went to Williamson High School, you know, it's a blessing to walk over here and watch senior bowls, also, you know. But I always say that I come back to this field and play one more time. After a slow start, Coleman has really come on this week and is showing scouts the playmaking ability that made him an All SEC performer the past two seasons at Auburn. I just got to catch the eye of somebody, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do out here, working hard. In front of all the scouts, you know, and hopefully I'm impressing them. Going against some of the nation's top players has been an adjustment for Coleman. I think that's a big adjustment, me playing them run blocks and double teams and stuff like that. But, I mean, I faced some of that during the season, you know, but it's just a big, big adjustment that everyone out here is, is, is greater than you. And his play this week has earned him an invite to next month's NFL Combine in Indianapolis after he was surprisingly left off the initial list of invitees. I was shocked, too. You know, um, I was like, really? You know, he told me I was on the bubble list. I was like, wow, you know. But, but you know what? You know, the only thing I can control is me getting out there working hard, you know, and, and showing the world that I do deserve that shot. And Saturday in front of a sellout crowd. Probably have thousands of fans here for me, you know. Hometown kid. He plans on making his final game at Ladd a memorable one. Everybody come out and support me and watch me, man. I'm going to put on the show. And even today, Williamson players are here checking out the South practice. Tomorrow, the school will honor him with Antonio Coleman Day. Joe? We'll have a lot more on the Coleman celebration for you tomorrow on Fox 10 News at 9. One other senior bowl note, Alabama tight end Colin Peak at practice today, but not practicing. If you remember, he had a stomach bug. Hopefully, he'll be able to suit up for the game on Saturday. Coming up on Fox 10 News at 9, we'll take a look at Florida State safety Myron Roll. You may recall, he took a year off to pursue a Rhodes scholarship at Oxford, so that basically means that he's a lot smarter than Rob and I. That's coming up tonight at 9.